This presentation is for Chapter 8, Flexible Budgets and Standard Cost Systems. In Learning Objective 1, we will prepare flexible budgets and performance reports using static and flexible budgets. Previously, we discussed how managers use budgets for planning and controlling business activities. The master budget focuses on the planning step. In this chapter, we focus on the controlling step as we look at the decisions managers make during and after the budgeting period based on actual results. So some of the questions managers may ask is, did my division meet its sales goals? Have costs increased? Or have sales dropped, so how do we need to adjust spending? Businesses often have to make difficult decisions. An economic downturn or increased competition may cause a decrease in sales. In such a situation, spending must also decrease in order for the company to remain profitable. This is the diagram that we looked at in a previous chapter about how budgets are used to control business activities. As we said before, the static budget is part of the planning process. Managers will then use that information to direct the operations of the business. The controlling part of the budget process is where the flexible budget comes in and the managers will use the feedback from their performance reports to identify corrective action. A static budget is a budget prepared for only one level of sales volume. A static budget doesn't change after it is developed. A budget performance report is a report that summarizes the actual results budgeted amount and the differences. A variance is the difference between an actual amount and a budgeted amount. A variance is considered favorable if it increases operating income and unfavorable if it decreases operating income. A static budget variance is the difference between actual results and the expected results in the static budget. This chapter shows how managers use variances to control business activities. It is important to know why actual amounts differ from the budget. Knowing this enables managers to identify problems and decide what action to take. The variances that we will look at are going to be shown with an F as favorable if actual amount increases operating income. This occurs when either actual revenue is greater than budgeted revenue or when an actual expense is less than a budgeted expense. A variance is shown with a U if it is unfavorable and occurs when an actual amount decreases operating income. This occurs either when actual revenue is less than budgeted revenue or when an actual expense is greater than a budgeted expense. The variances in this slide are called static budget variances. A static budget variance is the difference between actual and expected results in the static budget. So cheerful color static budget variance for operating income is favorable, primarily because cheerful color sold 52,000 batches of crayons rather than the 50,000 batches it budgeted to sell during 2025. But there is more to this story. A static budget performance report is useful in evaluating a manager's effectiveness when the actual level of sales closely approximates the budgeted amount. It is also useful in evaluating the manager's ability to control fixed manufacturing costs and fixed selling and administrative expenses. A static budget performance report, though, is not helpful in evaluating variable costs because as production changes, Variable costs should change accordingly. Cheerful Colors needs a better tool to examine budgeted income at different sales levels. A flexible budget summarizes revenues and expenses for various levels of sales volume within a relevant range. A flexible budget is a budget prepared for various levels of sales volumes. Flexible budgets separate variable costs from fixed costs. The variable cost put the flex in the flexible budget. To create a flexible budget, we will need to know the following. Budgeted selling price per unit and the budgeted variable cost per unit, including the budgeted product cost, 
of direct materials, direct labor, and variable manufacturing overhead, and the budgeted variable and selling administrative expenses. Then we need to know the total budgeted fixed cost for manufacturing overhead and selling and administrative expenses. And then we will need different volume levels within the relevant range. This exhibit shows a flexible budget for cheerful colors, revenues, and expenses that predicts what will happen if sales reach 48,000, 50,000, or 52,000 batches of crayons during 2025. It shows the budgeted sales price per batch is $7.50, budgeted variable costs are $1.75 for direct materials, $3 for direct labor, 75 cents for variable manufacturing overhead and 5% of sales revenue for selling and administrative supplies. Budgeted fixed costs are 25,000 for manufacturing overhead and 22,500 for selling and administrative. Notice that sales revenue, variable cost and contribution margin increase as more batches of crayons are sold but fixed costs remain constant regardless of the number of crayons sold within the relevant range of 48 to 52,000 batches. This is an important distinction to remember about flexible budgets because total fixed costs remain constant within a specific relevant range of output. Fixed costs do not change on a flexible budget. Variable costs in total do change. It is not enough to know that a variance occurred. Managers need to know why variance occurred in order to pinpoint problems and take corrective action. As we noted, the static budget underestimated both sales and total variable cost. These differences were caused by two primary factors. There is either a difference in prices or cost, or and or there is a difference in volume. To develop more useful information, managers will divide the static budget into two broad categories the flexible budget variance and the sales volume variance. The flexible budget variance is going to be the difference between actual results and the expected results in the flexible budget for the actual unit sold. The sales volume variance is the difference between the expected results in the flexible budget for the actual unit sold and the static budget. This diagram shows the flexible budget and sales volume variances. The flexible budget variance, again, is the difference between the actual results and the flexible budget, whereas the sales volume variance is the difference between the flexible budget and the static budget. The combination of the flexible budget and sales volume variances is the total static budget variance. This exhibit is the Flexible Budget Performance Report for Cheerful Colors for 2025. Recall that the variances in the second and fourth columns are favorable if actual amount increases operating income or unfavorable if the actual amount decreases operating income. So column one of the performance report shows the actual results based on the 52,000 batches of crayons actually sold. These amounts were seen before in a previous exhibit, and they're not based on budgeted amounts per unit, but they are the actual operating revenues and expenses for the period. So actual operating income was $36,320 for 2025. Column 2 is the flexible budget variance and shows that operating income is $680 less than cheerful colors would have expected for selling 52,000 batches of crayons. Managers want to know why operating income did not match the flexible budget. Column 3 is cheerful colors flexible budget for the 52,000 batches that were actually sold. Operating income should have been $37,000 based on that level of sales. Column 4 is the sales volume variance. The differences arise only because Cheerful Colors sold 52,000 batches of crayons rather than the 50,000 batches it planned to sell. And then Column 5 gives the static budget for the 50,000 batches expected to have been sold in 2025. Cheerful Colors budgeted earnings of $33,750 were the amount expected before the budgeting period began. 
And that is the conclusion of the presentation for Learning Objective 1.